It is no secret that I am a huge Harry Potter fan and have acquired lots of merch over the last seven years. Today I will be sharing them with you, starting with my book collection. As you can see, they're very torn up from all the times that I've read them and I purchased them secondhand, but I love that about it because it makes it special to me. I also have Tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch of the Ages, and a JK Rowling book. I also have a poster book which contains a lot of cool posters, many of which I already have up in my room. Here is my movie collection. Next is apparel, starting with my robes. I got the sweater from a thrift store and the Gryffindor robes and tie from Party City for a Halloween costume in fourth grade, and it still fits me. Next is the Christmas sweater that Ron wore in the Philosopher's Stone movie. I got this at Universal and I think it is absolutely adorable. It's made of wool, so you'll definitely want to wear something under it so that you're not so itchy. Here's my Hogwarts Alumni Quidditch sweatshirt that I got on Etsy from Solid Society. Here's my Deathly Hollows necklace. I also got this from Solid Society on Etsy, and I wear it all the time. This is Salazar Slytherin's locket that I got from the Noble Collection. It does in fact open and you can put a picture or something in it if you'd like. Here's my time turner that I also got from the Noble Collection. It's probably my favorite piece of merchandise that I own. I get compliments on it every time I wear it, even from people who haven't seen the films. The edges read, I mark the hours, everyone, nor have I yet outrun the sun. My use and value unto you are gauged by what you have to do. And it also spins, which is really cool. This is a really beautiful snitch bracelet I got from Solid Society on Etsy. Next, I'm going to show you some things I bought from Universal. First is my wand. It comes in this nice little box and contains a map of Hogwarts and Diagon Alley that shows you where and how to perform spells in the park. My wand is an Ollivander's original, which means it doesn't belong to any character. You can choose your wand based off personality or birth date, which I think is really cool because it makes the experience feel more personal. I chose the Ivy wand. Here's a chocolate frog box. Inside contains a card of a famous witch or wizard with some information on the back. I got Gilderoy Lockhart. Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans, a bottle of pumpkin juice. This is a Ron Weasley artifact box I got from the Noble Collection. It includes a lot of cool stuff inside that is related to Ron, like a Weasley bedding slip, a Dumbledore chocolate bra card, some Weasley product tickets, a Gryffindor patch, a Quidditch World Cup map, Ron Towler, and a Chudley Cannons poster. Here is a No Muggles Allowed sign that my grandparents got me from a yard sale. It has a little theme on the back so that you can hang it on your wall. It would look really nice by or above a door or entrance. Hermione Granger Funko Pop. I got these Birdie Bots jelly beans from Barnes & Noble and they come with a card inside like the chocolate frogs do and have some information on the back. I got this Hogwarts supply list at a midnight release for the Cursed Child and I won this magnet for correctly identifying Harry's wand blindfolded. True fan right here. My parents made me this Hogwarts acceptance letter for my 11th birthday. How cute is that? Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I put links and information for everything in this video down in the description box, so check that out if you'd like. At the moment, I'm looking into buying a lot more Harry Potter collectibles in a subscription box, so look out for an updated collection video in the future.